Hello. Greetings to you who is listening to this message. I have a message to tell the world and to tell you who is listening, to spread it around the world that Jesus Christ is coming soon. I am someone who did not ever believe in rapture stories, stories about the end times when people say it. But for some time now, I've been having this particular dream often. I see a headless figure dressed in a white agbada, carrying me on mountain tops and on hill tops, showing me the world in the end time, showing me how the world comes together as one. And he showed me many people, many musicians, many pastors that we know that are renowned, that are in hellfire. And then he said to me, go and speak to my people that there is no sin that is small and emphasize on unforgiveness because unforgiveness is one of the greatest sins that people ignore, but it will take people to hell. He showed me many pastors that have had problems with each other and kept it in their hearts without forgiveness. Showed me many musicians with unforgiveness. But for a long time, I've been ignoring these messages and keeping it. This last time around, it came with a warning. I saw rapture. People were going up. Going up, people were taken in so much fastness and I was not raptured. And then a voice spoke to me. Several times I sent you to the world to tell my people I'm coming soon, but you did not tell them. You ignored to tell the people. So for this reason, you will suffer your sins. I started crying. I was begging for forgiveness and the voice told me, he cannot forgive me because he asked me to preach to the world about unforgiveness yet i ignored it and i kept all these visions to myself i started crying i had to go through 10 days of grace where you have to suffer with the beast immediately people left heavy rain started falling all kinds of beasts were entering into the world Elephants that were 100 times their normal sizes. Zombies, human beings that had seven heads. I saw all kinds of things and I was crying. The rain was falling, thunder, lightning, flood. But there was no one to hear me. I had to walk my time of grace now. And then he showed me many of some friends. He told me that these people are going to hell now because you refused to help them out. If you'd have told them the truth that I am coming soon, they would have not been like this. I saw them wearing white gowns, and on their white gowns there were many dots, like a polka dot design. Many dots were on their white gowns. I began to cry. I began to cry. And to confirm this, my niece, who is seven years old, woke up one morning and started crying to my mother. And said, Mom, I dreamt. I saw God wearing a white shirt, but his face was sun. He told me that he's coming very soon because the people are sinning too much. This was a seven-year-old girl. She was crying during morning devotion. She said, Mom, even as I'm talking to you now, I'm afraid. Because he told me that he will not take me to heaven. He will not take me to heaven because I am stubborn one and I have not forgiven my friend that slapped me. This was a little child. It means that there's a probability that even the younger ones may not be raptured on that day. Please, share this to your family. Share this to your children. In as much as in my dreams, he emphasizes about forgiveness. There are other sins. There are other sins. He's trying to say that there is no small sin. Please try to live a perfect life because he's coming so soon, as soon as possible. When you hear this message, don't keep it with you. Forward it to people and so on. Let it reach the last person. 
if they like let them believe you if they like let them not believe you at least it will be that you have sent it forward and please brothers and sisters forgive whoever has hurt you go down on your knees and ask god for forgiveness it was so frightful that if i have to say everything it will not be able to be contained please forgive everybody that has ever hurt you jesus is coming soon and the spirit and the bride says come it is not his will that you should perish it is not his will to see you suffer please give your life to christ Cleanse your heart from all iniquity. Ask for forgiveness. And for him to forgive you, you need to forgive those that you have held in your heart. Just your forgiveness might save someone's life. There is no small sin. Run to him now that you are hearing this message. And forward to many people. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus is coming soon. Thank you.